In this demonstration, we're going to look at some of the troubleshooting tools available for SMTP in Exchange Server 2013. So the first one we look at is Telnet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to issue my Telnet command. I'm going to issue that against my mailbox server. And I'm going to specify the SMTP service. And because we've got an ESMTP mail service is ready, we know that the service is up and running. So next thing we'll do here is just issue in hello. And then what we want to do here is prove that or uh, demonstrate that by default, anonymous access is not allowed on your Exchange Receive connectors. So to do that, I'll just do a mail from, and then my colon, and then admin, and at datum.com. Now, after a couple of seconds, that should fail, so we should get connection lost. And this will prove that we don't have anonymous access. So there you go, that is definitely correct. And the next thing we'll do is we'll just have a look at some of the troubleshooting tools available in the Exchange Admin Center. So what I'll do here is I'll just switch over to the console of my mailbox server. So on my mailbox server here, the next thing to do is just come into my Exchange Admin Center. So to do that, I just need to come into Internet Explorer. And then once I get into Internet Explorer, what I need to do is just connect through to my Exchange Admin Center. All right, so I've typed in the URL for the Exchange Admin Center. And then we'll just log in as administrator. Uh, what we have here is we have our little mail flow, mail flow tab here. So what we've got here is we can have a look at things like our receive connectors and our send connectors so we can see how SMTP is configured. What we've also got as well built into Exchange Server 2013 is we have an Exchange toolbox which has some useful troubleshooting tools in it. So all I'll do here is go to my start button. And what we'll then do is just go to our Exchange toolbox. That's right, so one of the tools we have here is we have QViewer. So if we just have a look at QViewer. What we can see currently is we have our submission queue. There's no messages sitting in there at the minute. It is ready. I have the ability as well to view any messages if there were any in there and have a look at them for troubleshooting purposes. I've also got the suspend button which allows me to suspend the queue. So what that will do is that will stop mail messages flowing through my SMTP service. And then I can also resume it back again. So now what we'll do is we'll just send an email just so we can have a look at some of the other troubleshooting tools we have. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our domain controller and log into Outlook Web. And what we'll do here is we'll just send a couple of emails. So we'll just do a new mail here. And we're just going to send this to amra at datum.com. And what we'll do here is we'll just call this test SMTP. And then we'll just click send. And then I'll send another one, so another new mail. And this thing we'll send it to amra at contoso.com. Same sort of thing. SSMTP. And then we'll click send. All right, so that's the message sent. So the next thing we'll do here is we'll just go over to our Exchange Admin Center. Straight away, what we can see now is we've got our submission queue sitting here, and we've also got our mailbox database one here, SMTP delivery to the mailbox ready, so it's actually generated a queue on the fly. So no messages in there, they've already gone. Now what's happened here is we've got the unreachable domain, so at this point here, what we've got is we've got the one for contoso.com. So if we just have a look here, and all we'll do here is we'll just view the messages. Uh, what we can see is we have our unreachable domain, we have our mail message from administrator at the datum.com. QID here is undeliverable. Spam confidence levels minus one, size is four kilobytes. We can see where it's going from. We can see the subject and the matching connector for contoso.com cannot be found. So let's just get rid of this queue viewer. Get rid of the toolbox. And if we just come back to the mail flow, one of the things we have on here is we have delivery reports. So we click on the delivery reports. Right, we'll fill out our little table here just to put our search in place. So we're going to search mailbox administrator and we're going to search messages sent to Amra Zaki. So we'll just now click search. And we can see the message, we can see when it was sent, who it was sent from, who it was sent to, the subject, and the send time. That's an end of this demonstration looking at some of the troubleshooting tools for SMTP. Thank you.